Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Minecraft server. Great news, everyone! That's my Professor Farnsworth impression. I'm uh the great news is that I'm a little bit I'm I'm feeling a little bit better. I think I've reached the pinnacle. Like the 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 worst days have passed me now. It's just the, the road to recovery. I've done some work off camera. I don't think I've done too much building off camera, but I have done some work on myself. I'm a better person now. I've got a bunch of things from the fishing, the AFK fishing farm. Uh, so a couple more uh, pretty pretty good books. I, I guess this blast, blast protection is okay. I enchanted some picks. I got a fortune two efficiency four picks. So that's better than fortune three. Or sorry, it's it's not as good as fortune three, but it's better than fortune nothing. Um, I got some new uh, fishing rods. Luck of the sea. That's the one I was using. I've got an unbreaking and a mending rod right here. So that's pretty good. And then of course, oh the curse of vanishing. I think you guys have said it that uh. It vanishes when you die, the Curse of Vanishing does. So, I guess that's something. Uh, I don't plan on dying, but it sucks that it might disappear when I die. What else do I have? Oh, I did some strip mining, so I got a few more diamonds. Oh, I have another pick, Efficiency Unbreaking pick. I got a, a few more diamonds. I got a bunch of redstone. I've got a bunch of lapis. That's the reason I went strip mining, is because I ran out of lapis, because I was enchanting Burks. I enchanted four Sharpness 1 books, and I turned them into a Sharpness 3 book. Got Efficiency here, a Mending book from the uh, Fishing Farm, and a Knockback book. And then I've got some more of this stuff right here that I, that I mined. So yeah, lots of work was done off camera in terms of leveling and stuff. Today, I was super excited. Oh, hi there. Hello there, my friend. I was super excited to get that Llama Pen going. So today, we're going to work on the Llama Pen, and it's going to be amazing. Hello. You're dressed in all gold. You're a golden boy. Golden boy. Wasn't that Jerry's t-shirt or something? Projectile protection too, huh? Not bad. So, let's do some work. Uh, I'm Like I said, I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, but getting a little bit better. Uh, oh, the first thing, first thing is you guys told me that the fishing farm is more effective if I have a block of light above the water source. So, I've got a block of light above the water source now. However... However, I think I have some glass over there. Um, we should put glass because things might fall in while we're AFK fish farming. And we don't want that to happen. We don't want to like be struck by skeletons while we're farming and then die and then lose all the things. I'm going to also enchant. I don't know if I should start enchanting some armor or what. We're going to see what, what sort of enchants are available to us. Um, and then enchant that because we have to start building our, our, our armor up a little bit. We're still rocking the... The iron armor. We're still rocking the iron armor. It's unfortunate. It'll do, but it's unfortunate. Um, so let's put this glass down. A lot of comments last episode. Oh, beef, you died while looking for string, and you had string in your chest. I had one string in the chest. Talking about the AFK fish farm chest. I had one. I need way more than one string for a lead, guys. Come on, get your shizzle together. I think we're going to need a lot of hay bales. So let's start collecting this. Uh, another thing we'll need is probably some fences. Probably some fences. That is not even enough for one hay bale. I think I'm going to have to hit it with some uh, with some bone meal. Let's see. Let me let me take a look. Oh, yeah, I was using the, the dual wielding, too, as, as to my benefit. Let me see what we can do here. We're going to need some... Some fences. We're going to need something for the floor. I think I'm going to go with coarse dirt for the most part. Maybe mix it in with regular dirt. Hi. Um, going to expand this a little bit. Make it a little bit more cave-like. It's going to be hard to do with these guys here. But I think we could probably just leave them right here. They're not going to like wander off, I don't think. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, this piece of dirt looks real out of place. Yeah, I hear you. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get started on this. Let's do it. Let's get all professional and stuff. Fire pro Oh, come on. Fire protection? Fire protection, really? Okay, let's let's not get all professional and stuff. What about what if I enchanted a book? Burke? Is there a Burke? Wait, there's Burks here. There's a Burke. Let's uh let's see what we get with a book. How do you reset this stuff? You know? Like how wait, what is it? Bane of Arthur Bonds 4? Seriously? What if I did this? And then I put it back. Is that how you reset it? Let's see. I bet it's the same. I bet they weren't that dumb. Fire Protection 3. There it is. Um, Crap. I don't want either one of these things. I guess I could enchant... 
What's the sharpness one? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the way things are looking right. Oh, that's my garbage. Let me try some pants. I'm, I'm running out of diamonds again. Let me try some pants real quick. I could try another pick, but I have so many picks now. I think I just want like silk touch or fortune three. That would be amazing. What do we have here? Unbreaking three. What? I don't mind. Oh, my voice cracked. I don't mind making these uh, these armor thingies. These two could probably and here, you can stay. You can stay. You can go, and you can go. You can go into this chest. You're not that important. This is my important stuff chest. I don't mind making these because I'm going to need them anyways. Um, I have four diamonds left. Should we make another pick? Let's try it. Let's do one more pick here. This could be it. This could be our silk touch. I need silk touch because I want to grab some podzol too. That would be nice. Podzol would be good. There's another pick. I know you guys are like, oh, just enchant some books. We don't have um, a, a, a leveling a fortune too. you got to be kidding me here fortune wait if i combine both fortune two picks fortune and efficiency Ooh, ooh. actually the efficiency is not going to transfer over i don't think this is the better pick fortune three efficiency four what if we switch switch them around here we get fortune three efficiency four so it's the same thing yeah okay do we have an efficiency Efficiency three. I don't think you can like. Uh, I have an efficiency one book, but I don't think efficiency one is gonna affect this efficiency three very much. Yeah, it's still gonna be efficiency three. We need a higher efficiency uh, book to make any sort of mending. Okay. All right. Wait. What was that? Efficient. There it is. Holy crap. There it is. Wait. 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 Okay. So we do this. This. Efficiency four. Bam! That's a lot of levels. Oh, and my thing broke, too. Well, crap. I think we can make an efficiency 5 with that pick there. But anyway, we have a fortune 3 pick. Finally! Now the only thing I need is a silky touch pick so I can go get ourselves some, uh, some podzel. First thing we need to do is replace this floor. And there's a guy right there. This guy might cause us some... Oh, there's... He's got a friend. Look at this bow, man. This bow is amazing. Alright, guys. You guys feel free to come out. Let's replace this floor, and uh, and we're gonna put some dirt, some coarse dirt and stuff. There's definitely not gonna be any grass. First of all, this 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 is inside of a cave, so grass doesn't get too much, uh, doesn't get the nutrients it requires to live here. So we're not gonna, we might actually put some some smooth stone in here, but uh, but we'll see. And we're definitely gonna have this little part go up, just like the natural shape of the cave. Maybe even leave some stone. Okay, now let's make this look a little bit more cavey and not so flat and that's going to require a little bit of terraforming here let's do that and then i'll grab some smooth stone and we'll uh, we'll fill in i don't want to hurt you guys so be careful here and then we'll fill in some of these uh spots with smooth stone and of course if i had if i had um silk touch i'd go grab um some of the uh some of the uh the, the 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 thing the 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 dirt in in that biome down there puzzle that's it well look at that guy being all exploratorative i don't know if that's an actual word okay so here's the cave entrance so far now the outside is looking pretty plain i will fix that at some other point but inside the cave we're looking like a cave first things first we must get some supports up here we don't want this cave collapsing in on our llamas and I'm thinking some cobble supports in some places, like right here, and then some uh, some wooden supports in other places. Let's try to make the, uh, oh, here we go. I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. Let's break this. Let's put down a cobble block and then a little bit of support right there. We don't want these llamas dying. Let's put some lighting back here because these guys, they don't want to be left in the dark either. Uh, where should we put the lighting? We could put some, I mean, granted... We have, we're expecting that these, oh, this is a little bit too squared for me. We're expecting these llamas to be smart enough not to, like, eat the fire. So, um, maybe we're asking too much from our little llama friends. I also wanted to put supports in the corners in some places. Oh, that one's right, eh, you know what? I don't mind that. I wanted to put supports in some of the corners just to make sure, you know, as a, as a responsible llama farmer. What the heck? Oh, right, I broke through to the other side here. 
Hmm, maybe we can incorporate something like this. Again, I'll, I'll make this look the outside. I'll make it look a little better right now. <clears throat> excuse me. Our concern is not the outside. Our concern is the inside. So let's put a torch there. A little bit of support right here. You know, yeah, that's not too bad, actually. There you go. Like, we, we built the supporting structure for the whole outside of this wall. Uh, we need a little bit more happening around here. So let's maybe do this and put a little bit boop right there. And then think one more fence post. Sweet. Or a cobble wall. Uh, right there should be good and let's make that go like this we're looking good we are looking good next we need some water a water trough for these guys uh, back here will be sort of like the hay area like oh maybe that's where I come in and give hay I'll put the hay in the corner here make make those um fence gates uh, so we need like a water trough <clears throat> excuse me oh my gosh hold on much better um, should I put it in the ground I'm gonna put it in the ground let's put it right here BAM Got a water trough. Oh, and you know what? Because the water trough is nearby, and because this was actual stone before, we have a little bit of mossy cobble there. That looks good. Let's fill it up with some water. Otherwise, they won't have anything to drink. Um, now I need some water to replace this. Where the heck are you guys all going? I saw one. There he is. This guy's all the way up here. Don't get lost, guys. Don't get lost. This is going to be a very special place, and you're going to love it. What else should I do here? I feel like this wall needs more happening. Like, it's so plain. But then again, I don't want to just fill it with just cobble. Uh, I guess it's not too bad. We could have little bits of cobble where the wall has maybe, uh, maybe just fractured a tiny bit. Like back here, maybe those two at the bottom, a little bit of fracturing, a lot of spitting going on, but a little bit of fracturing, how about a little bit more fracturing, uh, maybe going this way, and of course that looks pretty unstable, so let's just make sure it doesn't fall. We're looking good, we're looking good, how about a little bit on the roof? Speaking of unstable, that looks a little bit too unstable. Something like that. That's not bad. I was also thinking about putting these. This is this is like a rough estimate of how the path is going to be. This guy. Oh, you got my llama right there. I got to be real careful. No, llama. Do not go defend that skeleton. You dumb llama. You almost did it. I'm thinking maybe uh, we can have like, um, like a, a llama bed here or something. Uh, or not a llama bed, sorry, like, uh, like remnants of like, um, just something that was back here for, oh, this is where I was going to put the hay. We could find a different place for the hay. I think the hay is probably best left back here, maybe out in the open, but, uh, it's just something like there used to be maybe a llama wooden bed here or something, and it, it is no longer a thing, and the, the earth is enveloping it a little bit. It's looking good. Let's put... One down here as well. We have a little bit of this dark oak to play with. Um, I know you guys are like, well, I don't see what what is happening here. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't really like it. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I just want to make it look a little bit folksy and and older and stuff. Maybe maybe even remnants of a little path going going on here. Oh, that's upside down. I don't like the remnants of this path here. I like this piece here. I don't like these pieces here. So let's just do it flush and like that. No. Like this. No. Like this. Maybe. Yeah, I like it. Okay, we're good. All right, this place is looking okay. This this part back here. Do we have we don't have any lighting back here. So let's put some lighting back here and we will put it we will put it perfect right here out of the reach of these llamas so they don't burn their cute little faces. Is this lit enough? <laughs> this place is so lit. So we got this mm, there's probably going to be stuff spawning. Let's put one here near the entrance. Do I have another fence color? No, I don't. That's okay. We'll stick with these for now. Looking good. Looking good. I feel like chicken tonight. Let's uh, <laughs> put one of these bad boys here. And we're going to leave it outside of the, uh, of, of the thing. Like right there. And you know what? Let's have a little bit of like 
Yeah, like this. Like that. Let's do that. Coarse dirt. And we'll have a little bit more coarse dirt right here. Okay. That's good. I like the, the, the shape like that a little bit better. Um, what was I going to make? I was going to make something and now I forgot. Oh, yeah. Let's put some of these. Maybe even a stair or two somewhere. We're trying to make this thing look a little bit more detailed. Right now, there's not much going on. The walls are very, very plain. I wish there was a way to get a uh, mossy smooth stone, but there, alas, there is not. Uh, I'm talking about smooth stone, not smooth stone bricks, so stop your comments right now. Uh, Beef, there's totally a way to get mossy smooth stone. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, let me go this way for this guy, if we can. This is going to be tough. Yeah, okay. And then maybe a couple, a couple over here, just like so... And how about that? It's not bad. It's not bad. We're looking good. It's getting detailed. We got a little bit of pile of dirt in the corner here. Should we pile some dirt? There's another question. Nope. That's not bad. I don't mind that. I like this spot. This spot has the, the correct amount of detail. Although this is all very, very uniform. We're going to ununiformize it better. But now this is real straight. So let's unstraighten. Uh, wait, what's straight? What is bothering me here? I think it's just this block. That's better. Yeah, that's better. There's a lot of dirt here. You know what dirt needs? A support. I am putting so much thought into a part of this llama pen that I will never see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're looking pretty good. Let's get this hay bale going. We don't have a lot of... Oh, did I kill... Is that... Yes, it's still there. These guys are like going back to their natural habitat. Guys, don't leave. You guys are going to be so happy with what I've got in store for you. Look at it already. It's already looking amazing. we got to do a little bit of terraforming on the outside of this mountain, though. It's not looking amazing or as amazing as I would like it to look. This guy. This guy is like the explorer of the bunch. Dude, you know... You really need to like calm your slow your roll there, buddy. And come with me and let's collect all your friends again. Hi there. There we go. Fall in line, suckers. Fall in line. I think there was like 6 of them and now I only see 5. So that's a little concerning. Where did the other one go? I'm pretty sure there was 6. You guys still following me? Hey, how about all you? You guy with the you you guy <laughs> with the blue thing. Come come over here. Let's let's be a family again. Where are your friends? Where is your friend? Your friend is not here. Okay, that's a shame. That's a real... That's a dang shame. Let me go up here. Is everybody in here now? Sort of? Here. Come over. Come over here. Come over here. There you go. There you go, buddy. Here, let's put the... It's the quick fence right now. We're going to get a fence gate as well. Oh, I like this idea where it just curves a little bit at the end. In fact... I like it so much that I kind of want to do it a little bit more to the extreme. Extreme fences. Let's um, maybe bring it out here. Oh, we could have it like curled like that. That's kind of cool too. Who says we have to have a straight fence? I like it. We got to have a fence gate for here. In the meantime, I did get another idea for something else. This is like for all you llama pen designers out there. If you're looking for some ideas, this is the place to be. I want to have a food trough. Now, where can we put? It's usually next to. Oh, you know what? Uh, that's going to be too big if I do it like that. I got to put it against the wall. So I think we're going to move this uh, this torch. And we're going to do um, this. This. And this. And then as well as um, this. Right there. Ah, there's our food trough. Nothing can actually be put in it. But it's better than nothing, right? And you know, to complete the food trough look, forget that those blocks that were there. They're no longer there. I see we have a problem with the exterior wall, but we will fix that. We will remedy that shortly. There we go. We got a little food trough. It's a little tall, but hey, these guys are real tall llamas. We could drop some food in there. It sucks that we can't. Man, there's so much that I want to do, but I can't. Um, another thing that I had an idea. So we're going to put these hay bales somewhere. Like this hay is, hay is like, you know, 
they get food as well as hay. They're very special llamas. Let's put it in the middle here, let's say. And we're gonna we're gonna put it against blocks so they look a little different. And we'll put another one um, right here is fine. Just for now, just three little hay bales inside our llama pen. Uh, but there is something I wanted to do because there's hay, right? And then maybe maybe we're thinking, um, hey, <laughs> maybe we're thinking, hey, sometimes these hay bales come complete with seeds. And um, maybe the seeds are spreading just a tad, not enough to grow or anything because it's still super dark in here. But enough to just spread a tiny, tiny bit. And that's what we're doing here. We're spreading the seeds a tiny, tiny bit. Eventually they will grow. Oh, it's going to pop off every time though? Or is it too dark here? It's probably too dark here. Ah. Okay. Speaking of too dark, maybe we could just put this thing along the wall here? That's probably a good idea here. Let's break this. I don't need you, shovel. Okay. And now let's put the torch. Where should we put the torch? Hi! How are you? They have like little faces as noses. Look, those two are the eyes. That's the nose. And that's the mouth. I can't unsee that anymore. Well, crap. Well, I just ruined llamas for me. Um, I kind of want it. Here, let's break these up like so. Is that too much? That might be too much. Let's replace that one. No, I don't think that, I think that's the problem. There we go. That's looking a little better. Looking a little better. We're going to put, I want the torches. I want the torch, I should say, up here somewhere. <clears throat> Where did we mess up? Oh, we didn't. Oh, yeah, it was right out here. That's not a problem. Um, I want the torch up here somewhere. Is this like too much detail? I feel like I'm going a little bit overboard with this. I'm so sorry, but this is what you signed up for. I get a little bit too into these details sometimes. It's looking really nice though. I need more hay, uh, and I don't have more hay, so we're just going to have to figure that out some other time. As for the outside here, can we make this a little bit less flat? Let's do that, um, like so. It's not bad, and we'll put a little bit of uh, unflattening action right here. And the fence is supporting part of it, which I like. Oh, that's looking a lot better already. And then up here. Oh, and if we get rid of this one, and then get rid of this one, I think we have our look. Oh, that's real nice, guys. Guys, do you like it? I like it. There's one more thing I wanted to do. I knew it. I knew it. We had one stray. This guy's going to be my free-range llama, and he's going to have a red... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I got to, like, tame him first. I got to tame each one of these things first. This is going to be difficult, especially in there. They might, like, damage me and stuff. Do I see hearts yet? Oh, boy. Come on, llama. You're my free-range llama. You're going to be, like, the, the guy who gets all the freedom. You should love me for this. I'm not imprisoning you. There we go. He does love me for this. Um, is it just like, uh, 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 do I have to access with an empty hand? And then there we go. Oh, the red one looks really cool. That is awesome. Let's do the other ones. Man, this guy has been the toughest guy. Okay, don't kill me now. Don't kill me. This guy has been the toughest guy to tame. He does just not love me. Wait, uh-oh. Oh, I couldn't get off there. No, I still haven't tamed him. Unbelievable. All these other guys. Look at him, by the way. The pink looks ridiculous. The black looks, or sorry, the green looks kind of cool. It's got a, a creeper face on the back. We've got the blue one, of course, you guys have seen. This gray one, he's wearing like an eye patch or wearing like a, that's why. I think the Nevers' guy is named Bandito for that re very reason. Can you get out of here? This is where you tr are trying to kill me. Can you just leave here, please? Okay, now just let me love you. Oh my god, he always goes into this corner and wants to murder me. I still haven't tamed you. I cannot believe this. I'm just going to turn around. He's going to go right in that corner. Oh no, he's going to a different corner this time. Oh my god. Two hearts. 
Jesus! Oh, I also expanded this out a little bit because uh, I feel like it'll be kind of cooler um, to have this come out. So they have a little bit of outside space. Dude, seriously, just let me love you. Unbelievable. He's trying to mur- You know what? I gotta name him appropriately. We're gonna- This one's gonna have the yellow- The yellow carpet. I've gotta name- Oh, I finally did it! Wow! Alright, yellow carpet guy. You're gonna have some sort of name. I gotta come up with a name of a murderer. <laughs> because that's what he's been trying to do to me. So the gate is right here. I don't like how uh, sharp this is. So maybe let's make one little alteration here. Oh, right, the gate is on this side now, so can we move it over this way? I think so. I think we can move it over this way and still have it look pretty good. There we go. I like it, guys. Oh, my gosh, I really do like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I don't know how long it was. I feel like I've been recording for a really long time, but then again, I am sick, so I have no idea <laughs> at the actual length of these things. These two guys seem to like being in this little corner here, and these this guy likes to kill me. And these two are actually pretty easy. Then, of course, there's the free-range one. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.